hello everyone so today I'm going to show you how to create the tip stop effect in different ways um, the first method is using the pitch envelope in FL studio you have to load in a plugin that can use envelopes So you go to the pitch envelope here and you turn it on. that's it so the tip stop effect is just manipulating the pitch and time let me show you how to do this with a plugin that doesn't have and that doesn't have an envelope and I'll show you how to do it with a ex with an external plugin So what we want to control is pitch and time. So this is what we want here. Yeah. Let's increase the range. Then we'll put up a fruity envelope controller. And we'll link this to an articulator there. Then we'll just do the same thing we did to the citrus. That's it for any plugin that doesn't have his own envelope built with it. So let's try this. Let's try this with Massive. So what you want to edit, what you want to use in Massive is the pitch of the um oscillator you want to use or you can just link the three pitch bend if you are using all three oscillators so we'll put in a fruity envelope controller i want to we don't know what this is we c you can't just create you can't just link with external plugins so what you want to do is click on the drop down menu then browse parameters then just fiddle with the one you want and it will just point it right here so we'll come here in here and we link to the envelope controller
So we'll do the same thing we did to the citrus and we'll get the same result. So that's how to use the pitch envelope to achieve the tip stop effect. So the next method is using effect plugins that help you do this automatically. another plugin you can use for this is the deep blue tip stop also comes with glitch I'll put the link to all the plugins in the description below so you can just reduce the time for this and just mess around with this So if you create automation clip of this, you achieve the results you want. just mess around with that you achieve the results you want so the next method I'm going to show you is with the slide now this only works for plugins that come with FL studio Just use the slide in FL Studio so it slides down it slides down the pitch from this note down to this note the tip stop it slows down as the pitch comes down the time slows down the speed of the notes slows down if you use a tip stop effect so that's what we want to achieve so we want to link the pitch the pitch to the velocity so let's see So you can see that gives us you can see that gives us a better effect linking the pitch to the velocity. So with plugins that don't have their own mapping built in with them, you can also achieve the same result. So you just 
just put in envelope controller and you link you link the pitch to the controller and you turn off the pitch envelope then you turn on the velocity mapping and do the same thing we did to the hammer and you have a similar result that's how to create the tip stop you can also do it with audio you can use any of the methods that I've just shown you now you can use it for audio jumper hey give me more 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 Give me more, 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 give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Uh, so pitch. Editing the pitch envelope can give you amazing results. So guys, this is how to create the tip stop effect with different methods in FL Studio. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.